Take it easy with that stuff. This is taking it easy. <laughs> Got you there, tough if guy. If I offended anyone last Just night... Just name the place, my friend. I made no apology for it. Just name the place. Arthur. By now, to be honest. And go where? This is all I got for now. And you all ain't so bad. Abigail, she's as good as they come. Okay, I'll catch you later so then. Everyone keeps Whatever you say. Arthur? Hey. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie's thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary.
I think I might have had too much fun last night. My lady. Hello. All right. Hi, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid and... That was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Radley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them. For good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You was fish. Thank you. Anyway, talking of folks disappearing, have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Hey, hey! What are you doing? And in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. 
Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. What the hell? It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that. So we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Look, we have a guest now. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you're all right. 
right there, boy. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Come on, then. So he's still alive, then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah! Now get out of here. Hey, boy. Okay, boy. Friend, you gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet, that's all. Mother of God!
Call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know, sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny.
can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. I've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Side of him. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing. Insult him. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, Mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. No, put that down, Arthur. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even a to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! 
That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Hey! You! Ask it! Hold her right there! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Here. Take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Yep. <laughs> Father. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh... Theater? Me? Sure, why not? 
It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lim. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the Tony. horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as a starting or not. Are you in a rush, Arthur? The greatest author? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire. Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss. Robin Kaninsky! Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Dani. See, I 
Come on, let's get out of here. Flawless. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, sure. I if you see want. you. You, you, you love her dulcet the best tones, right? Yes. <sighs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I want it, man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. <laughs> <laughs> 